associated both column fracture. It is fracture of both columns of the establum. Both columns are separated from each other and from the axial skeleton, resulting in a floating establum. It is the most complex type of establular fracture and they used to call it central establular fracture. It may have a central dislocation and no articular surface remains intact with the axial skeleton. The establular fragments become free and rotate around each other and they may appear to maintain congruity to the femoral head. There is dissociation of the articular surface from the axial skeleton. Because of this secondary congruity, traction may be used in the treatment of associated both column fracture in the elderly. And you're going to see the spare sign above the establum on the obturator oblique view, and that is diagnostic for associated both column fracture. So, in the operator view, you will find the anterior column, which is the iliopectineal line, is disrupted. You find the spare sign. The spare sign is the posterior inferior aspect of the intact posterior ilium. Another feature of associated both column fracture is sign of the curved line which occurs due to interruption by the fracture of the iliopectineal line. This line belongs to the greater sciatic notch, and if, after fixation, anteriorly, the patient has a positive curved line sign, then the posterior column probably not reduced. The roof of the establum is involved totally or partially. When you see an x-ray and the roof of the establum in pieces, then this injury is probably an associated both column fracture. You will see a coronal plane fracture through the iliac wing. In general, C coronal for C column fracture. So if you have both column fracture and you have additional fracture going to the ilium, then it is an associated both column fracture. And in CT scan, the fracture will be coronal. A T-shaped fracture of the establum is different from an associated both column fracture of the establum. In associated both column of the establum, the fracture goes to the ilium. The establum is floating and is disconnected from the axial skeleton. If you see extension of a transverse fracture of the establum through the medial wall of the establum and the fracture is going through the obturator ring, then this is a T-shaped fracture. The ilioinguinal approach is the main approach to treat associated both column fracture. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.